data broken down and all type of stuff to help artists and also really specific. But that would be the cost, right? Shit, even if, even if they spent on average $500, that's $6 million. So again, that car show, that car show booking, it, all right, okay, it's data broken down and all type of stuff. Anyway, uh, it, I really say that to say because you know, the music business is such an interesting place and it's so easily manipulated and it's so easily, it, it, it's so malleable, right? At first, people thought Travis Scott was gonna do 100,000 less than this woman and then, you know, the numbers start numbering and then Travis was supposed to beat her. And then eventually what ended up happening is that Travis Scott did not beat her. He lost by a few hundred records and he came in at number two. This was a whole industry clusterfuck, right? This this is, you know, for you to understand what's going on and how this industry works. This was a power play by the majority of people. Give me one second. I'm just, I'm just... So, so basically what he's going over is uh, Travis Scott he 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 feel like Travis Scott got robbed of something of some type of award or something but he's going to explain uh his theory and that uh Drake is lacking in this uh department so that's why I wanted to play this part verify some real quick okay to understand what happened here Epic is owned by Sony. The, the three big labels in the game is Sony Music Entertainment, Warner Music Group, Universal Music Group. <laughs> Sony was trying to step on the coming out party of Sabrina Carpenter, who is essentially UMG's new darling and supposed to be, she's on the trajectory of being like this new superstar. I don't even know who that is. Now, if she didn't get number one, this would be an epic loss on Universal side because you're losing to a 10 year old mixtape by a epic, again, epic is owned by Sony. So your competitors, one of your Wait, a Travis Scott came out with some new music? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. Well, I don't even listen to Travis Scott like that, but Travis got new new music out? Petter's main artist drops a 10-year-old mixtape and beats your coming out party for your new- She's a Disney star? Oh, she's a Disney star. Well, yeah, I don't watch Disney's. I don't watch that location. Okay, so she's, yeah, I don't even know who the hell that is. Who is this? Missing. superstar so there's a lot of fudging that went on and really on both sides gotta be honest right and i'm not gonna just sit here and just stroke travis scott's cock the reality is travis scott and his people they sold mostly bundles they sold packages that fans were purchasing um and yes there was a lot of streams but she kind of looked like madonna ish no maybe am i tripping hmm. there was a lot of buying of these packages they offered all type of incentives. They packaged the package, the package, the package, and the sales got to be around 365. Uh, they thought they were going to easily be Sabrina Carpenter. The last numbers they had gotten was that Sabrina was supposed to be at like 330. Um, however, Universal, they're not playing around either. They did their finessing and they did their, you know, hula hoops and backflips or whatever, and they made sure they beat Travis Scott. So this was a last minute thing. Luminate. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I think she, yeah, she, she beat Travis Scott in the first week sales. Yeah, that's right. Um, Luminate, the Nielsen, whatever you want to call it, they told Billboard that there was, you know, a lot of unaccounted for sales, and apparently a lot of these sales came from mom and pop stores. So Sabrina Carpenter beat Travis Scott because Travis thought he won and Epic thought he won, except in the ninth hour, Sabrina Carpenter found like, I don't know, like 50 stores that were mom and pop stores that don't automatically report. They reported later. So they came with their numbers later that edged out Travis Scott. I only say this to say, this is proof of how the music industry controls itself. They pick who's number one. They inflate sales when they want to. This is why, you know, when I hear people talk about some of these artists, the very moment that these labels are done with an artist or the very moment they want to, they have put a lot of stock or a lot of, um, um, they've put their chips in on an artist, that artist can't fail, right? And this is where, you know, I'm, I'm, I hate when I say like someone like Drake, Drake isn't half the artist he is if Universal says fuck him. That's fact. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is why I wanted to play this part. This is, th this is why I want to play this part out. Damn. So what you trying to say? Whoa, whoa. What you trying to say? Academics? Yeah, this is why I want to play this part. So... Let's go back to that. Ooh. And I hear people talk about some of these artists. 
the very moment that these labels are done with an artist or the very moment they want to they have put a lot of stock or a lot of um um they've put their chips in on an artist that artist can't fail right and this is where uh, you know you know i know i hate when i say like someone like drake like drake isn't half the artist he is if universal says fuck him that's fact i know the so how can he be the goat because you praise him like he's the goat of all goats but now you're just admitting he wouldn't be half the artist if he wasn't if it wasn't for the machine pushing him so like your logic really don't really don't make sense because see now we got to start questioning all his numbers all these number one hits are they really number one hits are they just book uh you know faking these streams like how you accuse kendrick lamar right so that's very interesting that he said that that drake wouldn't be half the artist that he is if it wasn't for umg that's very interesting especially coming from academics hmm that's interesting that you said that aki when i hear people talk about some of these artists the very moment that these labels are done with an artist or the very moment they want to they have put a lot of stock or a lot of um um they've put their chips in on an artist that artist can't fail right and this mm. is where uh, you know yeah, I'm, I'm where like, artists can't fail so it's so funny that he always run with this theory saying that drake is the underdog y'all remember he, he he kept saying that drake was the underdog during this battle but you literally said they they invested so much in Drake, so they set him up so he can't lose. So that just lets you know how how crazy this whole battle is. Yeah, everybody knew, right? Uh, when Drake signed that what hundred four hundred million deal, you know he was basically set up. But here comes Thanos. Here comes Thanos Kendrick. Come in here. He got all his Infinity Stones and snapped his fingers. So I don't understand when academics goes and he says that Drake was the underdog. But you literally just said that UMG sets up Drake to not fail. And I hear people talk about some of these artists the very moment that these labels are done with an artist or the very moment they want to they have put a lot of stock or a lot of um um they've put their chips in on an artist that artist can't fail mm -hmm. right and this is mm -hmm. where uh, you know yeah you know, I, I know i hate when i say like someone like drake like drake isn't half the artist he is if universal says fuck him that's damn. fact damn i know this been going around with people like no well universal wanted him to to lose the battle if, if, if they want to turn drake down they'll turn drake down like they, they run the shit now mm -hmm. the, the only exception here and i know you would think drake is the exception the only exception is taylor swift taylor swift has shown so much power that she has Universal around her finger, but they know they need her um, and also need her catalog. But r regardless, to get back to the point, this was completely bullshit. Travis did get fleeced a bit, but I can't feel bad for Travis because everybody's playing this industry game of fudging, bundles. And if we go back to Travis Scott's history, Travis Scott, remember when, when Nicki Minaj was losing it over Travis Scott beating her and she blamed Baby Stormy? Nicki Minaj, I'm saying Nicki Minaj. Remember when Nicki was ranting about that? Like she was going crazy. Whole nigga of the week, of course, is Travis Scott. Woo! Travis Scott on Thursday when he realized the Queen was about to have the number one album in America, he and his label decided to have Kylie and Baby Stormy put up a uh, tour. By the way, um, again, Travis Scott is on Sony. Nicki Minaj is on UMG. UMG and Sony, every time Travis drops, they try to they try to put out one of their big dogs to go against Travis, and they've lost damn near every time. Okay? This is the first time they've beaten Travis, but Travis used a 10-year mixtape. Still, you, um, Sony wanted Travis to win. Damn, he used a 10-year mixtape. He had her go and post and say, hey, I can't, me and Stormy can't wait to see y'all. How are you selling some?" Thing that does not have anything to do with your Damn. album but it's being counted on billboard as album sales but what we're not gonna do is have this auto tool man coming up here selling fucking sweaters and telling y'all he sold half a million fucking albums because he didn't and it's a, a lot of rappers behind the scene that want to talk about it and they're scared but sweetheart i'm not scared i'm legendary in these streets let's get them to check it out now oh oh shit's my video damn 
Shit, I got shot by my own goddamn voice. Uh, is it, where is it? There's a longer version of it. Whole nigga behind the scene that want to talk about it and they're scared. But sweetheart, I'm not scared. I'm legendary in these streets. I'm legendary in these streets. I'm legend. I'm legend. I'm legend. Uh. Now, if you're wondering how Travis sold so many records, because everybody's flopping, you go to shop.travisscott.com. And when you click here, you'll realize he sold a lot of vinyls. Now, now, now you can't, you still can't knock him. I'm gonna be honest with you because him selling vinyls, there are specific rules for vinyls that essentially force Travis to have these vinyls pressed up before. Vinyls take a while to mass produce. And according to the new rules, if these aren't already, you know, pressed up and printed, people can't really take advantage of them anyway. You could buy the digital deluxe for $4.99 and you could buy the vinyl for $40. And, and again, you know, most people buy these vinyls do not have, um, you know, they don't have, what do you call it again? They don't have like even a, a vinyl player, right? Like, but it's now like a collection item. And that's the thing that matters. Uh, let me see, let me see. There's a few other things. I thought he was selling some other shit too. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. he was selling some exclusive merchandise. I don't know if I could get into that yet. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've, they've taken off all the merchandise. Obviously, the week is done, so they really, th th that merchandise was only out for the week. So they were selling exclusive merchandise and other limited um, edition items that were bundled with the deluxe album, the digital deluxe. And that's how Travis Scott s sold that much. Now, I can't be mad at Travis. I gotta be mad at the other artists who are big that don't take advantage of it. Because when Taylor Swift sells three million records, first week she's doing it via the same way bundles she's not doing it off just streaming i don't know why drake doesn't do bundles to the extent of how travis does it and i don't know why kanye west hasn't done that maybe i think kanye west doesn't like to mix his businesses but if he ever like you know kanye would have sold like two million records first week if he bundled them with a fucking pair of yeezys right like he, he could have done that a bunch of times he just never did so again um you can't hate the player hate the game and then if your favorite artist ain't doing it and by the way nikki's last um album um, Nicki Minaj store. Nicki Minaj's last album, actually, she sold a lot of merch as well. You could get the Gag City tea, right? Like, I know y'all want the Gag City tea, right? Wait, Wait, what? Damn. Um, yeah, she, she had a bunch what of stuff. Fuck? I believe it's on the website. So, I can't knock it. You know, what? everybody's realizing packaging packaging stuff Man, absolutely works. You what know what I'm the? saying? So, you know, that's how Travis sold it. And I can't be mad that Travis, you know, got finessed or lost that number one spot because in reality, bro, like, he was trying to game the system too, you know. All right, well, well, that's that's all I wanted to play. I just wanted to play that part where where he said that you know basically Drake ain't Drake unless he got you know that 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 powerful machine behind him. Pause, right? So yeah, I just want to highlight highlight that part right there. All right, moving on. <laughs> 